everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to my NPC bikini prep. I will be vlogging my entire 10 week prep. I'm gonna be showing you guys my meals, recipes, supplement intake, workouts, ab workouts, posing routines, tips and tricks that will help you uh, be the best bikini competitor that you can be. As I upload these vlogs, if there's anything specific that you guys wanna see, please comment below and let me know so I can give you guys as much content as you guys want. The show I'm doing is the Crystal Cup in Anchorage, Alaska, and it's a national qualifier show, which means I have a chance at getting my pro card. So I'm really excited and nervous and excited and nervous. <laughs> For the first couple weeks in this prep, I will be putting on a bit of lean mass, especially in my legs, my butt, my back, everywhere. I wanna put on as much lean mass as I can before I start uh, cutting down or shredding down and getting as lean as possible for the show. In my normal life, I don't count my macros, I don't count my calories. I prefer to listen to what my body needs, so I guess you could say I'm a clean eater or intuitive eater. Uh, I eat when I'm hungry and I stop when I'm full and I always make sure that the foods I'm putting in my body are a balance of protein, carbs, and fat and I make sure that the food that I'm putting in my body is always quality over quantity. And that is how I keep my lean physique all year round is just intuitive eating, clean eating, just finding balance. I don't log everything I eat. I'm not for macro counting and I'm not against macro counting. It's just not for me. If I was really bulking and putting on a lot of size, and I would definitely consider it. However, when you're prepping for a competition, it's important to keep track of some of your macronutrients to make sure that you're getting enough protein, carbs, and fat in, especially if you are not as educated with fitness and nutrition. What's up, YouTube? Today is the first vlog for the NPC prep I'm doing. So I thought appropriate that I wear this in PC shirt. So for the next couple weeks, I am going to be putting on a little bit of size in my legs and glutes and quads, and then I will be cutting. I am loving the new place. Check out this kitchen. It is beautiful. So this is gonna be really fun to meal prep inside this kitchen. Are you excited? Are you excited? Good morning, Sage. I love living in this house, but in one day we found mice, bats, spiders, ants in the house. What else? A lizard. And a lizard. This is a lizard just crawling around. So, yes, living in the country is fun, but the whole critter thing is not fun. So, this morning for breakfast, I am preparing steel cut oats. I am making eight servings right now. I have my coffee brewing, and then I will be making my egg whites. So I'll show you guys the finished product. Meal number one, and my coffee in my Santa cup, because I can. <laughs> my breakfast is one cup of steel cut oats and cinnamon, and one cup of egg whites, plus one whole egg. I'm gonna be drinking BCAAs three times a day. So I'm gonna try to have one in the morning, one during my workout, and then one before bed. So I'm gonna be taking the organic wheatgrass every morning, the multivitamin every morning, and one serving of BCAAs in the morning. And a little trick I use with my BCAAs to make sure I get enough in is I make BCAA popsicles, and they're awesome. Two scoops of BCAAs, the rest with water, and then I fill this with six different popsicles. You can tell I've already had two. If you're doing a bikini prep, it's a lot more strict. Uh, your intake of sugar is gonna be very low to none. <laughs> so BCA popsicles are great, especially I live in Texas and it's always really hot. And I love sugar. I always crave sweets and I'm sure you guys know how much I love donuts. Like I love sugar. So these really help me out a lot. If I'm watching a movie, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I want to snack on something. I'm comp prepping, this sucks. BCA popsicles will save. Right now I'm doing the fun part. I'm looking for a bikini color. I get my suits done by Lydia Gurley. She's amazing. She does the best work I've ever seen on bikini suits. All the suits that I've worn, I've always gone through Lydia Gurley. She's 
amazing. She pays so much attention to detail, so it'd be hard for me to ever get a suit from anyone else. But uh, right now I'm trying to choose a color, so she's sending me samples. I'm like, I don't know. But what color do you guys think I should wear for this next competition? The first one I did wear pink. The second one I wore a Elsa blue color. So let me know what color you think I should do on this next one. Here's a chicken that Josh marinated in the gallon baggie. He marinated it with Italian seasoning, onion powder, lemon pepper, Himalayan pink salt, and salad dressing. Italian Walden Forms. Walden Forms. And why do we cook it at that temperature and time? To make sure it's fully cooked, and I like it a little bit crispy on top. But also very moist on the inside, right? Mm -hmm. Moist, 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 moist. <laughs> so I'm eating five ounces of chicken, which is meal number two, and four ounces of sweet potato, and one cup of vegetables. This is meal number two, and my pH water. I'm gonna drink the rest of this today. I'm watching Grey's Anatomy in the background. Next meal is the salmon mm. with some zucchini and some That's sweet it. potato. All right, guys, so we're about to head out to the gym, and I was starving. I ate my food and I didn't vlog it. Man, every time I see these sweet potatoes wrapped in foil, I think they're tacos, but they're not. Sorry, they're gains. We just got to the gym. For those of you that wonder what gym I go to, I go to Lifetime Fitness, 281 location in San Antonio. So if you see a short little blonde lifting a ton of weight, that's me. Uh, competition workouts. They are brutal, but totally worth it. When I prep for a show, I work out five to six days a week. And sometimes toward the end of the prep, I'll even do two gym sessions in a day to make sure that my body is sculpting the way I want it to for the show. I start all my workouts with a warm up to get my blood flowing throughout my body. Your legs are your biggest muscle group. So no matter what I'm training that day, I do a five to 10 minute warm up on the treadmill, Stairmaster, elliptical, uh, bicycle. After that, I will do a specific warm up for the body part I'm training that day. This day, I was training shoulders. Uh, my warm-up for shoulders was the alternating shoulder raises. And for those of you that don't know, the proper anatomy term for your shoulders is delts. You have three delts that make up your shoulders. The anterior delt, which is towards the front, the posterior delt, which is towards the back, and the lateral delt, which is directly in the middle. When I train my shoulders, I make sure to hit all three different delts so I will get the best results possible. Females tell me all the time they want sculpted arms and I tell them you can't solely focus on training your biceps and triceps because your shoulders make up half of your upper arm. So training shoulders is very important if you want those sculpted arms. Your lateral delt, which is the middle part of your shoulder, is very important because training this will help bring out your tricep and bicep definition, giving you that sculpted look. For the anterior and posterior delts, I never use heavy weight. I don't use heavy weight because shoulder injuries are very common and are often caused by heavy weight or poor form. So make sure to be very careful, use caution, and always make sure your form is on point. For upper body exercises, I usually rest between 60 to 90 seconds between each set. Um, it's different from my lower body. You'll see my rest count for lower body on another vlog But I hope you guys like this workout definitely try it out other than that I have a surprise for you on the next video I have two big athletes staying with me at my house and we have some fun content We'll be shooting so stay tuned for that next video. I'll try to have it up um, as soon as possible Hopefully in the next few days
guys, the workout is completed and we are doing some meal prepping. Oh yeah. Okay, so we have lean ground beef cooking right here and some all natural chicken. Josh is a master chef, so he is seasoning everything. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> Neuro, really with the attitude? Sit. Are you sorry? All right, so anyway, we're doing meal prepping right now and then we're gonna go ahead and put our fourth meal together. So I will show you guys that in a second. All right guys, so last meal of the day is going to be ground beef and cold flour mashed potatoes. Uh, whose biceps are bigger? Mine or his? <laughs> Josh is making the last meal because I'm working right now. I told him I'm working, but really I'm just looking at pictures of me and Jen. I miss her. Can I put butter in it? No. We're really? prepping. No, coconut oil. It's gonna be boring then. You're saying abs are boring? Coconut oil spray. This is what we'll be seasoning it with. I'm gonna have that stank breath with all that garlic powder. That's dumb. That's what Mom Pop Kettle says. You've never seen mom pot kettle? Have a good childhood. I'm gonna go ahead and measure out my ground beef. Five ounces. A little bit more. Perfect. One cup of vegetables. This is the last meal of the day. The ground beef, lean ground beef, cold flour mashed potatoes. It's awesome. That is gonna be the end of this vlog. Keep watching, I'll be doing tons of vlogs. I'm gonna vlog the entire prep. More workouts to come, more supplements, more of everything. So thank you guys so much for watching this and I'll see you in the next video. That's actually the way I Oh yeah. What a food baby looks like after six meals. Uh... Now suck it in. <laughs> And go take a dump. No! <laughs> Let me see yours. Push it out as much as you can. You still have abs. You're annoying. <laughs> <laughs>